I will not resign. You will not resign. You will force me to dismiss you. I will not resign, and you will not dismiss me, Miss Mackay. You will not use the excuse of that pathetic, that humorous document to blackmail me. Mr. Lowther, you are a witness to this. Miss Mackay has made totally unsupported accusations against my name and yours. If she has one authentic shred of evidence, just one, let her bring it forth. Otherwise, if one more word of this outrageous calumny reaches my ears, I shall sue. I shall take Miss Mackay to the public courts and I shall sue the trustees of Marcia Blaine if they support her. I will not stand quietly by and allow myself to be crucified by a woman whose fetid frustration has overcome her judgment. If scandal is to your taste, Miss Mackay, I shall give you a feast. Miss Brody, I am a teacher. I am a teacher first, last, always. Do you imagine that for one instant I will let that be taken from me without a fight? I have dedicated, sacrificed my life to this profession. And I will not stand by like an inky little slacker and watch you rob me of it. And for what? For what reason? For jealousy. Because I have the gift of claiming girls for my own. It is true, I am a strong influence on my girls. I am proud of it. I influence them to be aware of all the possibilities of life, of beauty, honor, courage. I do not, Miss Mackay, influence them to look for slime where it does not exist. I am going. When my class convenes, my pupils will find me composed and prepared to reveal to them the succession of the Stuarts. And on Sunday, I will go to Cremont to visit Mr. Lowther. We are accustomed, bachelor and spinster, to spend our Sundays together in sailing and walking the beaches and in the pursuit of music. Mr. Lowther is teaching me to play the mandolin. Good day, Miss Mackay.